This here is the Samsung U550, the new clamshell for Verizon Wireless. Let's take a quick spin around this phone to see what it offers. You can see it's a standard clamshell. It appears uh, similar to many other Samsung clamshells in the Verizon lineup. The flip phone has a very glossy front screen there with external display, which if we uh, unlock the phone, you'll see will uh, show that we've got one missed call. That's uh, some excellent news. We also have uh, the camera here. On the left side of the phone is the volume toggle and the unlock key. These buttons offer great uh, feedback and uh, travel and feel very good. Here is the hatch for the uh, charge port and on the right side of the phone we have a speakerphone key as well as a camera key. Both of these buttons do also offer the same feedback that the buttons on the other side do, uh, which is to say uh, good feedback. On the back of the phone we have pretty much nothing and the back comes off easily and we'll show you uh, where the slot for the micro SD card is here. So it is hot swappable but you do have to remove the back plate of the battery cover. Opening it up you'll see a, a nice generously sized keypad here. Uh, this uh, keypad offers good feedback and travel all around. Uh, because the keys are spaced widely apart, we found it easy to compose text messages and dial numbers. Uh, and the size of the D-pad, these four little nubs here, uh, make the D-pad great to interact with. It's uh, very user friendly. And we have a dedicated camera and video keys here as well as a speakerphone key replicated here, doubling up the keys we have on the right side of the phone. So that's a quick tour around the hardware. Let's take a look at the software. Here you can see a pretty boring uh, screenshot on the U550. Hitting the OK button will jump into the main menu. We happen to have it configured as a grid, but you can also set it to be a list or tab view. And uh, using the D-pad, of course, it's very easy to just jump around to all the different menu items. Going into the messaging department, you have the uh, same access as you would on any other Verizon phone to text, voicemail, message, instant messaging, and email. And if we scroll sideways here, we'll page through all the different items in the menu, such as calls, our contacts, uh, the Get It Now services, as well as email, navigation, IM, and your settings. All pretty straightforward stuff. Let's do something a little bit more fun, like compose a message. Go in here, we'll choose to uh, create a picture message, and we'll send it to a uh, fictitious number. Good old information. And uh, we'll put in some text here. We'll uh, have it do uh, phone scoop. So we're done with that. And we will uh, go to the pictures page, choose something uh, nice and fancy to send. Uh, we'll send a lovely picture of Starbucks. And uh, we'll fire it off. There we go. So you can see the basic process of composing a text message, which is not all that different from most other Verizon phones. If you want to see how the U550 performs during a call, we will dial information. And uh, you can see here we have the basic calling menu. The uh, right soft key lets you access the options, which you can see here are fairly limited, but you can get into things such as your messaging and contact lists, which will let you uh, dig up some information while you are on a call. This is a very useful feature to have. Of course, because this is an EVDO capable phone, you can access uh, most of Verizon's Get It Now features, which include the music store as well as the Vcast video store. You can see here we've, uh, we've downloaded a song. We'll let it open, and uh, here's the general music page. We'll jump into our song list, and we can see that we've got a nice little Eddie Vedder tune here. We'll start playing that. You can see the basic controls here are pretty straightforward and standard, and it'll show the artwork. The one thing we dislike about this is that when you hit the options key, it pauses the music. So you can't control your options while listening to your music. Uh, it does pause the music. Of course, once you're uh, detoned with that, you can uh, raise and lower the volume at will, and incoming calls will pause the music and then resume the music after the call is complete. You can also access the web as well as take pictures and video. Uh, let's see uh, some of the pictures we've shot, and we've got some pretty boring ones here, but uh, you can load them up and cycle through them pretty quickly.
Your options in the gallery are uh, what you'd expect uh, to send them as text messages or take a new picture or set them as wallpaper, things like that. Uh, the camera itself is, uh, is fairly capable as with all Verizon cameras. You've got plenty of options to control the different aspects of the phone itself, uh, like setting the resolution, uh, a lot of resolution settings there to choose from. And of course, the settings uh, involve lots of different things like color effects, white balance, where pictures are stored, and even lets you change the ISO and the, uh, the metering which is a nice touch to have on a camera phone. In all, the Samsung U550 is a very capable phone. Call quality with this phone was excellent, despite the fact that it didn't always snag full signal from the Verizon network. It also allows you to control your music player with these exterior touch capacitance buttons, and it's a very pocketable and sleek phone. It won't win any awards for its uh, underwhelming design, but it does serve the basic purposes of being a phone very well.